Oh, we're gonna find some magic here real quick because this is necessary. Like, we're already going to be having, not issues, but they hit so hard. And I remember Ganon hits really freaking hard, man. And yeah, no, man, it was great. It was awesome. So I'm, it's, it's nice to be back. It truly is. I'm excited to see what's going on in the future. But yeah, no, nice to be back here doing this. Courtney is good. Uh, she is feeling a little sick, but other than that, she's feeling okay. Uh, oh, what are you talking about? Your Pokemon's right there. I see him. Also, hi, Steven. <laughs> and no, it, um, she's doing good. She's doing good. She's had a bit of a migraine today, but so far she's doing all right with the rest of the day. And baby's doing good. He was a little, he was a little frustrated and I was having some trouble getting him down, but he seems to be okay now. So, hey, you know what? That's all we can ask for, but he was happy. We were sitting on the back deck and a bunch of deer came up. Oh, I thought I could flip over that. That's fine. Is this not going to work? Stupid. That's okay. No, and we, uh, so we went on the back deck and a deer came right up to the stairs of the deck. It was freaking awesome. It was sick. And so he was looking, it was just a, a young buck and a, a regular female deer. And he had like... I feel like every time I see bucks, I either have giant antlers or just barely growing antlers. And he had like medium size. It was the coolest thing. It was beautiful. Bambi, exactly. So it was, it was awesome. So he was just watching that deer so intently and it was really cool to see. Perfect. It took more shots than I thought it would, but hey, if it works, it works, right? So yeah, no, it was a freaking awesome day. Um, tomorrow's gonna be good too. I'm kind of just excited for... For what everything looks like moving forward, man. With the baby and working. But it's cool. I'm... I'm having a blast. Yeah, but how is everybody else doing? Steven, how are you doing, man? How is how is everything going? Got him. Just gonna drop a ball. There we go. Not that I necessarily need any of these things, but I'm not gonna let them talk down to me the way they're trying right now. At least I assume that they are. And doing good, dude? That's awesome. I'm glad. Man, we were just talking about um, your uh, your whole family the other day, because it was uh, Jonathan Ellis's bachelor party, man. It was a freaking blast. And so uh, we were hanging out, me, him, my cousin Steven. So we got to talking about like, David and you and everybody. It was a cool time. I was supposed to... Wait, if you were supposed to get it yesterday, why'd you reschedule? Especially if you're going to be sad about it. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't know a whole lot about LASIK. I don't really get what it is. What is it? Oh, I'm not falling for that trap. Hold up. Thought they had me. Stupid. Sad about it. Man. So no, that that's my question. What exactly is LASIK? Because I have I have zero idea. I have no clue. And that might be ignorant of me, but I have no idea. Some important training events. Okay, that's fair. I mean I, I know that it's good for you, so I can imagine that you were looking forward to getting it done. But is it army training stuff? Wow. This is giving me flashbacks. This is giving me flashbacks when we had to do all the different rooms for Ocarina of Time. That day took forever. Because we did, what, the last half of the... 
Yeah, we did the last half of the Spirit Temple, and we did the whole... Why did I do this? What the hell was that? Um... But yeah, no, it was... It, I loved it. That What a freaking blast that was. But, and then we had that gigantic Ganondorf glitch, dude. Holy crap. I still have not seen that other places. Shrek, I'm looking down! Oh my god. I freaking love Shrek, dude. I... I need to rewatch Shrek. It truly is like a happy movie for me, and I feel like I haven't watched it enough to keep my serotonin levels up, if that makes sense. Okay. I see. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Am I gonna miss? Absolutely. Am I gonna try? Absolutely. There's no way that they're just too far, right? Or maybe I just suck. That's okay. We're just gonna... Oof. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna show it to Foster. Do not worry about that. It's gonna happen. Nope, that was stupid. Okay, hold on. What just happened? At least they cut a flap in your epithelial membrane of your eye, basically top it, and then reshape your corner with the laser. You were looking forward to that, bro? To each their own, I guess, but bro. Scary, dude. That sounds creepy. Maybe this is a more efficient way of doing this. Nah, uh, there's no way this is more efficient. Yeah, hold on. Going full send. Well, how bad is your eyesight? I'm curious. Not to be like, you got terrible eyesight, but like, what? How bad is your eyesight? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's another good question. What is the difference between that and cataracts? Ooh, yes. Hat coming on. Where's the hat? One moment. Oh, what just happened? I missed it. How did that happen? How did I fall? What happened? That's crap. Hold on. And 20... 2300? This shouldn't be taking as long as it is. I'm really sorry. Got him. So we'll just make sure he's gone. No sweat. Something about this. I don't know why I'm having so much issue with this. I feel like I've... Never really had issues with it before, if that makes sense. Hold up. See, I don't know much about eye scores or anything, right? Because, like, I... Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Perfect. So, I recently got glasses for the first time a few years ago, right before a wedding. And it's not because I have bad eyesight, necessarily. Not that I'm, like, trying to rub it in or anything. But I see double a lot. 
Like that's a real problem that I have is seeing double of stuff. And it's because one of my eyes is like super lazy. Um, Okay, well, I'm not going to waste my time fighting you if I don't have to. <laughs> and, oh! No, I don't think... Maybe you can. I should have tried that. What the heck, man? Alright, we gotta... We gotta friggin... Perfect. I've messed up here, hold on. So yeah, just, cause I don't remember if you've seen this before, Nikki. Right, 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 right. But for this one, you have to, you have to fight a lot of these bo original bosses again. It's kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, so it is it is slight astigmatism, but the eyesight is like totally normal otherwise from my understanding. Um, which is wild. So basically one of my lenses is glass and the other one is just slightly um what's the word I'm looking for? Curved. So it just corrects it for like when I'm reading and stuff, which is wild. So I, I don't really know what astigmatism is like as a whole, to be completely honest, but I know that that's what I have. And I know that I have to wear glasses if I'm reading or something, because otherwise I'll get like crazy headaches. Well, let's get this, come on tail, come on tail. Perfect. So you have astigmatism in both eyes, but do you have... I don't know. Does that affect the number of things, like the 2300 thing? Got him! Alright, perfect. I don't know why I did that, that was really dumb. I cannot reach him. I keep landing the lava? This isn't like me. I'm having actually like a little bit of weird controller problems. This is weird. Like my buttons aren't really working. But I would have waited contacts comes for things. Fascinating. See, you're blowing my mind right now. I didn't know, like, any of this stuff. I, I've not known much about glasses as a whole, just because I guess I never really needed to know. But... I don't know. That's just my thought. Right eye is negative 4.7, left is 2.0. Fascinating. I See, I don't even know what that means. See, that's wild. I see for Courtney, she um she's she's legally blind. And like I've put her glasses on before and it is an instant. Hey Q. I forgot that was there. Hold on. You guys see okay? I totally forgot about this. We are doing prescriptions. I can't do the squats, unfortunately, because I totally forgot that we had that. Um, and I will explain why. Found out from doing squats, because I was doing like, through a workout plan I was doing, I was doing about 250 squats a day. 
um, if not every other day, a lot of days. And we found out through it that I have Morton's neuromas above my feet. So I actually have really awesome nerve damage. <laughs> yeah, so it's crazy. But um, yeah, not that big of a deal. I'm just trying to be careful with squats until we're a little farther removed from that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'll do push-ups all the time, no problem. And thank you, thank you. I've been working on the form with it, you feel me? Um, and yeah, 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 I've got it in both feet. I could show you why, but I'm not giving out feet picks for free here, my dudes. Not today. Now, basically what's going on, mm -hmm. so it's in, it's on the bottom of my feet in between some of the toes. And the reason I have it is because, so it won't, uh, I, I either have to just be careful, um, or I have to get cortisol shots in my feet here. Hold on. Let me, I'll just take a second to explain it. So it's partially as I'm losing weight, but it's also here, I'll just move to just chatting. What's, what's going on is that the arches on my feet are insane. Like, they're so insane that my feet have never... Like, if my foot's on the ground, my, my toes are like this. Like, they're up. They're, like, sitting on top of my feet because my arches are so extreme that it's just pushing the balls of my feet to be where my balance is carried. So that's where, like, the load is coming from. So I have orthopedic inserts now, and I have some nice dad shoes, which is appropriate since now that I'm a dad. But, yeah, we well, we found out because from doing the squats. Like, I was doing a squat, I messed up, and it felt like I was standing on a marble, and it hurt so bad. And I went to the doctor, and they were like, oh, yeah, you totally have this. And I was like, is this because I was pretty fat? And they were like, that's probably how you found it earlier. But they said, whatever this is would have been done when you were a teenager, because no one talked to you about these, like, the problems with your feet. So she said that doing the squats and walking two to three miles a day slash running made it so that we found out about it earlier than I would have. So now I can be more prepared. I'm actually very thankful for it, but because of that, I can't, um, do stuff. Wait, how much, how much nerve damage? Is that what you're asking? And then dead shoes rock. Absolutely. There's an automatic for saying a bad word. Possibly. I don't know how the auto mod is set up. I need to check. But wait, what 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 bad word were you trying to say? Over oh, feet picks? <laughs> oh man, you guys could redeem a million sub points for uh for pictures of the feet, my dudes. But now, it's a uh, it's just one of those things. It was it was sad to find out, but I'm glad I found out earlier because they said otherwise I would have found out when I was in my 40s and it would have been too late to like correct it or get ready. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I did ban the F word because we try to keep it there. When I first started streaming, a lot of the people that were coming in and hanging out were actually, oh, dude, you're fine. You're fine. Go for it. Um, just for context to everyone, a lot of the people that first started watching my stream were like under the age of 18 and we were all playing Pokemon and doing Nuzlocke, so I was trying to keep it as friendly for kids as possible. So it was a good time. I Actually, I missed some of them. The first person to ever watch my stream, his name is Ethan. Sometimes he pops in. If you guys ever see him, say what's up, Ethan, because he's a cool, cool guy. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> so yeah. But now, yeah, I've been really working on that push-up form like crazy. So we don't have to take a selfie with this boss because we already did one with this boss. We had to do one in the first one because we started the challenge after that. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, I thought I got out. That's crap. Anyway, welcome everyone. <laughs> now y'all know about my nerve damage. It's it's fairly recent. We found out about it after I took the break from streaming to be with the baby. Uh, probably like two weeks afterwards. Oh, dang. God, um, is that all of them? Nope. God, um, there we go. And it does remind me of the battering. Any boomerang at all reminds me of the battering, like as a whole. So, you know, that's, that's just how it is. Everything is Batman. Perfect. Give me a heart. Close. Yeah, so I, I want to get a gym membership soon, actually. I just... They're all kind of far, and then I work from home, and then with the baby and Courtney needing to work in the afternoons. It's just... It's difficult, you yeah? So I'm trying to find a... What the... Do I just need a haul? What in the... Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I know what we need to do. Perfect. Is it? Okay. Romanian deadlifts? Okay. Yeah, see, there's a lot of working out stuff I need to do, but as of right now, I've just been... I guess the best way to describe it is I've just been doing leg workouts and stuff. And I, I like doing it. Or leg workouts, a lot of cardio, a lot of push-ups, stuff like that. That's kind of been the what I've been doing. And I'm having a blast with it. Perfect. Go, 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 go. But where's 24-hour fitness at? <gasps> no. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it really wanted me to fight him. Nah. Like, why can't I aim it? Pick him up. Oh. Get him. Got a decent amount right there, I'm not gonna lie. Is it on Timberlake? I'll really have to check that out. Whoa. This guy's a jerk. <gasps> oh my gosh. Perfect. They really are at any vibes, I'm not gonna lie. I think most things are, though, <laughs> to a certain extent. <gasps> Get a... 
him and can I get them all in this one? Or is there only one left? Oh, there's only one left. That stinks. This time is it though. It's just that one. Where's the yellow one? I don't know why I just assumed it was going to be the yellow one. That's okay. I just realized something. I totally forgot about one boss. Not in terms of selfies, I'm just double checking now to make sure I got everything. We can erase this one. It's not a boss. Okay. Okay, we do need to do one with Volvagia. So right in here. I forgot about Puppet Ganon. I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm really not looking forward to that. That's hard. That's hard even when I'm not doing a three heart challenge. him right now. Thank you. <laughs> we all know I'm gonna forget. What? Where is he? Well, if we don't need to fight him, I'm not gonna waste my time. I thought I could kind of like finesse that into getting him. I did hear about the Nintendo Direct today. I've only watched bits and pieces of it, but dudes. Legend of Zelda? Fire Emblem? All of it, dude? It's all fantastic. Got him. <laughs> Tired of hearing about Fire Emblem? Oh, I love a good Fire Emblem game. I haven't played one in a long time, but I just love that the brand is still going as hard as it is when it feels like very few people I know play it. I think it's bigger in other places that aren't the States. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. No Metro Prime form of Didn't- wait, weren't you telling me something about Metroid Prime recently? And you were saying that there were some issues with it, right? Or that there is one coming out, but they put it on the back burner? 
I can't remember. Remind me what you were saying. Oh, this is taking a while to get these killed. So it has been actively in production since 2017. Does that not mean you're just gonna get a really good game? Right? Should I say we? We're gonna get a really good game. Because it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, he's coming. Oh, we really just can see through the floor there. That's fun. I love little game breaking glitches like that where you can see behind the scenes. Think of the thing. Ah. As it did everything. As it did everything. But is it bad that they gave it back to Retro Studios? That's what I'm wondering. Or is it good? You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. I think it's puppet game in time. So it is good. We're on the same page. Retro did make the first three. Okay, I just want to make sure that I remembered correctly. Listen, guys, I'm not thrilled with what's about to happen. I'm not happy. Totally forgot about all this. Three. I think that is coming. There are rumors about it coming. You must remember all the appearance of this room. The shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the walls, such things. Okay. One. Okay. The sword hilts of my servant who lurked deep in the dark shall be the guidepost that point to me. One, two, three, four. Okay. It is literally Dante's Inferno. Got it, okay. Fascinating, I never noticed that. It shows you them in the order you should hit them in. I don't know why you do that. It did that. It's kind of handholdy. Not that, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just interesting. One. Two. Three. Oh, it's... what am I doing? It's gonna be so much easier with this. One, two, three, four. Got him! There we go. That's creepy, I didn't like that. <laughs> No, we're definitely going to get a Twilight Princess for Switch. It's going to happen. There's been a lot of hype around Twilight Princess as of late, which is really interesting to me. Enter into the Column of Darkness? No thanks, bro. I'm good. I forgot that was there, though, so that's good to know. And we're going to do this thing that I like to do, which is we save all the time. I don't think people hate Twilight Princess. I think that people are a lot more open to it now, actually. Wait, what? Hold on. I think people are confused by how dark it is. If you should the world above, then climb aboard and enter the light. Yep. 
What if I go this way? Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. No, because that's if I want to go to the world above. I have to do something else here. Maybe I hit it? Hold on, let's go back in here. That was a clue. Yeah, so this is the other door. The sword hilts of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guideposts that point to me. This might be stupid. This isn't it. No, you do jump down. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. We already got a picture with him, so we don't need to worry about it. And this is the scatter one, so boom! Okay, so the sword hilt points towards where I need to go. Perfect. Got it. I forgot you needed to jump down. That was, that's wild. That was so fast. That was so fast. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, you gotta do Shadow Ganon twice in this. You're not even ready for Papa Ganon, dude. It's freaking scary. What? Okay, another one. Got him. Oh, I thought that was enough. What the hell? Sorry, what the heck? I'm trying not to swear. Oh, what the hell? It's not a swear. It's fine. Yeah, that was intense. I'm telling you. It's like, it's like the negative spirit bomb or something. It's like a... It's like Frieza's death ball. Y'all, I better get another fairy or something soon, because... Oh no. This is garbage. <laughs> no! Oh, dang it. Death count dose, my dudes. Death count dose. That's okay. So now we just gotta jump back in the hole. Or fall gracefully. Sick. <sighs> Missed back from opportunity indeed. 
see if I can get him there. Then I don't have to worry about doing the, uh, any of it. <laughs> and yeah, no, Puppet Game is going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm genuinely uh, not looking forward to it whatsoever. He hasn't done Freeze's death ball yet. Okay, we haven't even taken a hit yet. Was I just being stupid last time? Was I talking too much? I don't understand. This is about to be absolutely asinine. I'm looking forward to Puppet Ganon. There it is. Awesome. Way less. Way, way less than I'm looking forward to Ganondorf. Ganondorf's cake compared to Puppet Ganon. I'm not happy right now. I'm not happy at all. This is, this is garbage. <laughs> so stressed. There it is. That's what I had to do. Literal cheek clapping time, dude. We just banished him forever. And now, we take his sword. First, we get this rupee. And then. Perfect. They don't make that clear. I need to be forever to figure that out as a kid. Ugh. <sighs> at all. Oh, but here's what we can do. Alright, this will make it easier. Yeah, I think that worked. So with the light arrows, I believe it's a one-hit kill on everything it hits that's a normal bad guy. Yeah, because that was a whole dark nut. Sick. I need to have a jar ready, because I'm going to need it. I know in one of these pots there's going to be fairies. There has to be. Up here? Is there. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's it's literally just when you have those, it's it's over for them. Magic, okay. Magic, okay. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm sad at how sad the fairies look, to be honest. <laughs> it makes me sad. Okay. I can't remember what we need. I think we need the hook shot. Get this ready. <sighs> really glad we got the magic upgrades. Because we need the light arrows for so much. Yeah, blast them into oblivion. Not Puppet Ganon, though. Oh, God. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'll, I'll tell you what's going to happen here. I'm either going to get this first try, or it's going to take us all night. And that's exactly what I was thinking. The snake is the worst. Do you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty. Boy. I can't do it. I don't have a deep voice. Boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans, oceans. Oceans, oceans. Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? <laughs> Zelda, wake up! How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on the sea like fallen leaves in a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you. Guys, he was wrong though. I'm starting to think he's not terribly off kilter here. I've been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes, for the hero. Do not betray my expectations. I'm not having fun anymore. That's too bright, I'm sorry. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> not with this. Do I need to have bombs? I can't remember anything. I always block this out of my head emotionally. Oh, okay, 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 okay. First of all. One. Perfect. Okay. Just get that out of the way. Some bosses we've had a relatively easy time to... get those selfies. Other times we have not had a good time whatsoever. Okay, so there's like... okay, gotcha. Each string has to be hit multiple times. And the red one can't break. Just about to. Nope, I'm not. See, the bowl's not terrible. Bowl's not bad at all. I'll be honest with you. It's just tedious, and then the bats come. But no, the spider is. The spider's not it. The spider, snake. The snake's not it. I don't think spider's ideal either. If there is a spider. I can't remember. I know it's bowl, then snake. No, there is a spider one, for sure. I almost missed. I'm not even gonna lie, I almost missed. Got him. Um. 
Okay. Oh, garbage, 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 garbage. So they can hit me. They hit me. But I'm able to avoid this guy for some reason? I've had this one spider my bush week. Oh yeah? That's kinda sad. Spiders are super good for you, dude. I've got spiders in the back deck. I'm just leaving them. They're homies. I don't like them inside now, so I'm on the back deck to keep mosquitoes away. No complaints. How tricky is that music here? That victory music. Okay, yep. Bull, spider, snake. Kill me. Kill me. I hate this. Yeah, okay, I do think spider's the easiest. See, the bats just distract you, my dude. Garbage! So you gotta kill him fast before he comes down. What's he doing? Is he getting closer just off the bat? Oh shoot, no. Okay. Ah, no, that's fair. Who would, right? Here's the problem. And here's the issue. Oh, that was beautiful. Chimney's gonna be so mad. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, I wish he was here right now. Oh, I can't believe a friend did that. Those were single handedly some of the best freaking hits I have ever, ever had on that boss. And I've done him so many times. We. That boss has killed me when I've had 12 hearts so many times. So many times. And we just took, what, one heart of damage? And I got those clean, crisp light arrow snipes. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm not usually this braggadocious, but God. I'm, I'm telling you, I, and I was right. I One try or ten, and that really was one try. We got one and one quarter hearts damage. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? He's not going to believe us. Chimney's not going to believe us. When he goes to do the upload and any edits he does, he's going to get mad. You know why he's going to be mad? He's going to be mad because he likes watching me get mad. He likes watching me lose. And I do this thing where <laughs> in Zelda games, because he's so much better than me at Zelda games, that I just do these little hat tricks out of absolutely nowhere, and it drives him so insane. Like the bombs with the iron knuckle in the spirit temple in Ocarina of Time, or the one hit streak on Ganon to take him down. Stuff like that. And you know why? It's because I'm an idiot. And that's why <laughs> I, I'm not going for skill. I'm going for whatever the hell I feel like that makes it easier. And that's what he hates about him. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I wish he was here to see it. That's so good. I'm I'm thriving right now. Ah, <sighs> and now we're coming to the end of our journey. I we're at an hour in. And we've really just railed through this. Guys, if you're here for the first time, welcome. My name's John, <laughs> and this is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Selfie with Every Boss Challenge. And we are having a blast. Lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods, the Triforce, he who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already the quest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. See, they make Ganondorf a little more of a tragic character in this one. Whoa. My stream cut out. Oh. Jeez, man. He just clapped us. I need the power of that dwells within you. Hold on. I'm just making sure everything here is good. Did it cut out for a second? Okay, so did you guys see him absolutely smack us around? That's so weird. I'm sorry about that. That's such a climactic point, too. I'm terribly sorry. The one smack. Okay, so it did just click for a second. That's weird. Hold on. Let me just real quick to make sure nothing bad is happening here. Oh, okay, yeah. So stream is disconnected, attempting to reconnect. Okay, cool. So everybody's back. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. It might, honestly, because it's showing 60 frames per second, 3 per 4 CPU, zero drop frames, stream quality is good. It must have just been a, a hiccup in the Wi-Fi, so yeah, really sorry about that. Um, but uh, here we are, and we're good to go. Let's get them. It's time, dudes. Now let's put an end to that which binds us together. trying to take my Triforce. Anyway, I was saying that monologue, though, I've always felt for it. I really like how they make Ganondorf have somewhat of a sympathetic nature in this. You can sympathize with him, not empathize, but rather than just like a, uh, I'm Ganondorf. You know what I mean? Like massive jerk face, you know? It's Sympathetic to extent. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Bruh. Exactly. Best villain is the ones you can sympathize with. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Hope. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. Just being an ancient Hillian, bro. Holy crap. Alright. It's go time. It is go time. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. That's the boat! 
Oh, you missed that day we streamed that. He's the bow. King of Red Lions. He's the king of Hyrule. He has been alive all this time as the king of Red Lions boat. So, yeah. Yeah, you missed that episode, dude. Oh, I should have caught you up on it. I feel bad. Gandorf made you drown with Hyrule. Yeah, isn't that wild? Little boat. Little boat do the most. Denzel Curry. Do the most. Sorry, I watched the really awful freshman cipher with all of them. Denzel Curry is so good, but those other guys are garbage. He's literally losing it. This is foolishness. A future for you? Eleven <laughs> Kendorf, you're insane. Steve, I'm sorry, I overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return the world above back to our ocean. Facts! Facts! Let's freaking do this! Alright, we gotta take a selfie with him. We've gotta do this with our three hearts. We've got this. I've, I'm so excited you guys have been here with me through this. This is awesome. I'm glad you guys got to experience genuinely one of my top three games of all time. Just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Oh, let's freaking go! Use this bow to cover you. Attack him as best you can. Oh. Perfect. <gasps> Got him. You know, I'm with you on this, actually. Oh, I've got to be faster than that. All right, I've got to keep her behind him so we can't see it. Zelda? She better pop off right now. Pop off, girly. Pop off. Shoot him. Dang it! Dang it! Oh, God. Oh, we just gotta avoid. Typical airbender tactics. Avoid and evade. Dude, I do be needing the boy. Oh, that's right. Now he's gonna... Oh, what a clip on her, dude. Holy heck. Yeah, dude, he's an absolute wiener. I think she's unconscious for a while. I think I just have to avoid him until she's back up. I really don't think I can remember. Oh, okay, we've got three hearts left. Fairy's used. Okay, so we gotta wait for him to try and do a combo attack, and we gotta... There it is. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, now this time's different. He'll avoid the arrows. So I need to get her behind him. Yeah, see? So he'll try and avoid her. Okay, yeah, you see what I've got to do here? I have to get her...
I need to bounce off our shield. I know that much. See if you have to distract him. Or he'll aim for you and use your shield. You get it? Okay, that's right. We have to wait until she misses a few times. Let's go. And for such a tunish game, we just shoved this sword down his head and through his body. Insane. The wind is blowing. See, it's a sympathetic character in this one, and I love that. Steve. The stab in the face really showed me the first- Oh, I'm telling you, it's- it's dark. And I think that this game has to be as light as it is and cartoony for that moment to be as impactful as it is. And for all the words and the, the, the monologuing that Gandorf is talking about to really hit home. It's amazing. I have lived regretting the past and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you, I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Man, farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please forgive us. Wait, you could. Really though, honestly, what a way to live by. You could, you could come with us. Of course, we have a ship, we can find it. We will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So? Ah, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. Big global warming narrative, but also like in a twisted, maniacal sense kind of way. How powerful is that though? It'll be your land. Amazing. Amazing. And now homie's down with the ship. Dang, man. This is truly one of the best video games I've ever played. This is my top three. I love this game so much. I have scattered the seeds of the future. See, I'm telling you, it has to it has to have this cartoony nature, this lightheartedness, the goofy pirates, to give everything that happens that much more of an impact. Whereas games like Twilight Princess, which I love, and we will play and do a three-heart challenge with that one, it's heavy the whole time. There's not a lot of lightheartedness to make these moments stand out as much as they do. And I love it. I love both of them, but that's why I like this one so much. And the soundtrack bangs, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Guys. It's basically Veggie Tales, right, exactly.
Now we've beaten it, there's another mode that you can do where you play in um, reverse colored outfit. No, you can play the whole game in, in Link's normal clothes, not in the like hero getup. You play it in his lobster shirt. It's kind of sick. But I think the lobster shirt's red in that one. And anytime someone speaks ancient Hillian, it actually shows you what they're saying uh, rather than just a bunch of scribbles. Yeah, in the beginning of the game, he wears a lobster shirt. It's just like his normal clothes. See, actually, that's it right there. So you play the whole game just in his normal clothes. It's a really cool thing. I liked doing it when I did it. Guys. This has been... Yeah, it's like a lobster, like a little drawn one. So they speak Hillian in a few places. The first that you encounter it is... Valu the dragon on Dragon Roost. He looks at you and actually he only that's all he speaks. The second time is the Great Deku Tree. He speaks in it for a bunch of paragraphs and he's like, I'm sorry, your clothes reminded me of of a time of old, because he's thinking of the like from the Ocarina of Time. Um, and the third time is that whole scene with a uh, great Jaboon inside Whale Cave, where you get the third pearl. So you see it then. And then there's a fourth time which is the uh, the hand head guy inside the Tower of Heroes. Uh, he speaks in Ancient Hillian too. So it's it's enough that there's enough that you get a lot more context and like interesting stuff. So you find it in quite a few places. But those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head, which is nice. I like it. It's a nice touch. Really encourages a second playthrough pretty well. Oh, actually, I think the frog gods speak it for a second, too. Just briefly, though. Just briefly. It was quite the ride. And I thought I, I thought I was going to have more trouble with this one than I did Ocarina of Time. Doing the three-hour challenge. But that wasn't the case. I, I feel like we actually did this one pretty good. We only died twice, and they were both last time and this time, so... I'm content with that, but this time we had that added challenge of getting a selfie with every boss. I think what we'll do is we'll have Chimney do a quick TikTok edit of all the selfies I took with all the bosses. I think that'd be fun. But man, man, this was a great ride. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me on this adventure. I'm going to post on Instagram a poll for what game you guys want to see next. Um, there's a few options. Um, another streamer brought up uh, a game and she totally reminded me of that I think would be great given the announcement of Breath of the Wild 2 today. We could do a Breath of the Wild run. Um, we could play Earthbound, which I've been wanting to do. We could do a three heart challenge of Twilight Princess. Um, I can show you guys some more Pokemon stuff. Uh, we can go grind through Pokemon Unite to get to master rank. There's a lot that we can do. And I know we'll do it all together. Uh, if you're new here, my name is John. Uh, this is the channel Brightside Adventures. We just like hanging out, man. Uh, if you want to come and hang out with us again, we do fun stuff like this all the time. Just drop a follow. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Brightside Adventures. You can follow our YouTube channel at Brightside Adventures. Uh, there's a lot of content there, backlogs of everything, and some original content starting next week uh, that's YouTube exclusive, which will be a lot of fun. So um, feel free to drop a follow and hang out if you want to. I'd love nothing more than to get to know you. But guys, this was such a blast. This was such a blast. I feel like there's something at the end of the credits. I can't remember, so I want to wait a moment just to see. But I can double check real quick. Clickety-clack. You know, I think there is. I think there is. But we can just hang out until it's until it's through. But that was fun. So let me ask you guys. Which game did you prefer plot-wise? And enjoy the challenge of? Oh yeah, no. that's And that goes perfectly with the question I was just about to ask. I love the stories of these games. So did you guys enjoy the story of Ocarina of Time or the story of this more? 
and which was more fun for you as the audience to watch? Just genuinely curious, because they're both great games. They're both... Wind Waker's in my top three, personally. Ocarina of Time's in my top ten. Now, don't let that sway you into your answer, because that's what I think. I enjoy them for different reasons. I liked Wind Waker a lot when it came out, and I was one of the only people who did. Now, that being said, as I said kind of at the beginning, I won a copy of Wind Waker from Nintendo in a, in a sweepstakes they did with the Ocarina of Time Master Quest for GameCube. Um, they gave out like a few of them where it said, congratulations, thank you for buying Ocarina of Time Master Quest. You've won a free copy of the Wind Waker. So that meant a lot to me. And I loved this game, but when it came out, people hated it. They were like, this is not the art style, all this other stuff, but this is, there we go. This one is more easy to follow. And I think a lot of that is just how video games are made and narrative capabilities and art after a while between the Nintendo 64 and everything after it. Whew. Here we go. And then this game has two sequels, Phantom Hourglass and then Spirit Tracks, which is train based. Um, Phantom Hourglass is fun, but the combat's a little weird because it's all on DS, so you have to use the stylus. It's interesting. The wind will guide us. Yes, it freaking will. Yep, same art style. It's a little more... I don't want to say chibi, but it's kind of like that. Uh, it's Obviously, they're both on the DS, so... They're just not going to be the same level of quality, inherently. This one's definitely easier to follow, easier to go deeper because they advanced on some games for time. Yeah, for sure. And Ocarina of Time, it is easier to just get into it if you deep dive all the lore, but you have to do a lot of work in yourself. And more pixelated is that best way to describe it, yeah. The end. Guys. This game will save and make a file for a second quest. There we go. Save. Keep current save data, select a new quest log. Do you want to save? Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. And now we have new game two. Awesome. I might do that just on my own sometime for fun. Yeah, see, it sort of marks it so you know that this is the one where you. Um, have the, the clothes, the Hillian speak. Oh, the other thing that happens is the Picto box you have from the beginning, and two things, it carries way more pictures, and it takes pictures in full color, so that's really cool. That's another fun thing to do, just in terms of, yeah, replayability. But, guys, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Here, hold on, I'm gonna get back to the, the main screen real quick. So guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me on this. Seriously, this this was a blast. I loved every second of this today. Uh, I thought this would take us a lot longer to do. Um, just puppet again, and I thought it was gonna take us like an hour. So we finished Wind Waker, man. So follow on instagram uh vote i'm gonna put a poll up for the next game and then uh, be on the lookout for the first youtube original video coming out uh next week so be on the lookout for that it's gonna be freaking sweet i don't want to tell you guys what it is i wrote the whole script for it it's not a skit or anything but i wanted to plan out what i was going to talk about i don't want to say too much you guys will see it'll be a surprise but again if you were new here thank you for coming um, thank you for <laughs> joining us uh, today on the last day of this adventure. So this was awesome. Wind Waker, Three Heart Challenge, Selfie with Every Boss Challenge. Complete, guys. Freaking awesome. Thank you guys for being here. And I am stoked to see you guys on the next one. So guys, thanks for joining me. 
Uh, again, drop a follow if you want to see more. Love nothing more than to have you hang out. You don't f never feel pressured to chat if you don't want to, but I love having people here who are a part of it. So be on the lookout, guys. And as always, my guys, here at Bright Side Adventures, keep looking for the bright side of life, my guys. And I'm going to see you guys on our next on our next adventure.